You know, just looking at the first two ACC games, uh, what what stood out to you as, as things the defense needs to improve on moving forward here? I mean, there's always – I think there's always room for improvement. Uh, we're always working towards uh, perfecting our craft. We're always working towards, um, you know, um, being the best best, uh, best version of ourselves. So I think there's still a lot of a lot of things that we need to prove and, th- and things that we need to work on, such as um, getting our reach right, um, blitz, pass block, or pass um, – Pass rush and and tackling, mostly tackling. So emphasizing all of those things throughout practice is, is a key point of uh to get uh success. Next we'll go to Matt Shadow at Canesport. Matt. Yeah, hey Kiko. Um can you sort of, you know, I know the team used the bye week to sort of self-evaluate itself. Can yeah. you um evaluate how you feel you've been playing um and specifically the last two games, how you feel you've done? And you know, you mentioned there's room for improvement. Like where is the room for improvement with, with your game, perhaps? I think for myself, I still got a lot of things to work on. Um, you know, there's a couple of stuff that um, that happened during game and, you know, it shows up. So I think for myself, emphasizing those main, th- main things um, um, just to get myself to, to, to in a better position to, to play again football. So um, just getting my eyes right and, you know, hitting, hitting gaps faster. So, yeah. Our next question comes from Jordan McPherson of the Miami Herald. Jordan? Yeah, hey there, Kiko. Uh, X mentioned on a on a TV interview last week. You guys had a players only meeting during the bye week. Obviously, those type of things that happen usually with teams that are zero and six, one and five, two and four, what have you. Just the fact that you guys are doing that while you're six and zero, knowing that you still have room to grow, you have things that you guys want to get better at. What does that say about the team that you guys are doing that while you guys are six and zero? I mean, everybody's just hungry. Everybody buy it, buys it into the culture. And I think leaders on this team are stepping up, um, you know, to you really lead everybody uh, towards towards the right mindset to, you know, get get better every single day. Um, we know for ourselves that we haven't played our best football yet. So um, so just being able to get everybody on the same page and get everybody on the same mindset so so we can play fast and, you know, have a, you know, great mindset coming up from a bye week. So it's never easy to to come back from a bye week. So, you know, for ourselves, we need to get get back to our group to um, you know, to play play my hurricane football. And then I wanted to ask you about Simeon Barrow. It seems like he's finally hit his stride over the last two, three games. Just what have you seen from him being a guy who plays who plays so close to him? I mean, Simeon Barrow's been a dog. Um, you see it every time he practices, he practices hard, he practices with, with physicality and speed. So it's it's never a surprise when he shows up in game day. Um, you know, he's a big dude, strong dude that can run to the ball. So, you know, he's always a guy, um, uh, it's fun to play, you know, uh, play with. So I'm glad he's on our team. We'll do a couple more for Kiko. Next, we'll go to Adam Lichtenstein, the Sun Sentinel. Adam. Hey, Kiko. How's it going? Good. Yourself? Good. Good. Um, so back on, on the topic of the, the players only meeting, just like, I mean, I know you're one of the leaders of the team. Um, who, whose idea was that and how does that kind of, spread how do you how do you organize that kind of uh on a short notice kind of thing i think it was a uh, um uh, everybody's all on the leadership council uh, on the idea uh, everybody just pitched in and i think everybody uh you know wanted to, to echo our our message to, uh towards the whole team so uh we wanted to say something to the team to you know keep everybody on the same page so you know when the time comes we, we, we perform at, at a high level so it was everybody and then how how do you organize that? Do you just is it like a group chat, like a group text message where you just text everyone saying, "Hey, meet um, here." <laughs> we meet we meet after practice every every Monday. So every Monday after practice, we meet as a as a leadership council just to go over the things that we need to work on and the things that uh we need to get better at to fix immediately. So you know, when game times, it's not a problem. Uh, it was something that we we needed to get out um to to the team so so we on the same page. Gotcha. And then and one more thing. We're not talking to Wesley today, but um, just how have you seen him grow? He's having a really good season just from when you got here, uh, like in spring of last year to, to where he is now. Yeah, I mean, Wes is just a dog. Like he he performs at a high level and he competes at a high level. So he brings the physicality and, you know, he's he's, he's always around the ball. He's, he's very instinctive and, you know, it's no surprise because he's he worked on it. Oh, the whole off season and, and summer. So when when the game came, it was it was it looked easy to him. So I'm glad and, and to be part of his teammate. And you know he's up to that role where you know he's the guy. So yeah, awesome, Kiko. We appreciate your time and good luck on Saturday. I appreciate you.